Welcome back to my channel. First, I'd like to begin with thanking all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for the support on this channel. It is a variety of things. Lately, I've been doing um, reaction videos, but I do plan on uploading some hauls and other things like vlogs and stuff like that. Well, let's get into this video. Let's start with the beginning where they started with these basketball wives in San Diego still. This is the second part of the video of the of the episode, I should say, not the video, but um it began with the them having breakfast that morning in San Diego at the uh house, the mansion that I guess the company uh rented out for the ladies to stay in for the weekend. And Jennifer admits she might have said some things she shouldn't have said. And her and Evelyn hug it out. And now they're just, everything's wonderful, peachy between them two. They've made up. Because Shawnee, you know, says, well, Evelyn's going through some things right now. And, and you really should listen to what she has to say. So... Never mind the fact that she was talking about your daughter, but since Shawnee said you need to listen, then you need to forgive her, then that's what you're going to do. Hmm. I thought that was interesting. Like, 40-plus-year-old women <laughs> are listening to what other women tell them to do concerning their child and their own lives. Okay. So, they hug it out, make up. Now everything's all kumbaya, and we're all good friends now. So... Uh, the other ladies are still outside. They, you know, Evelyn goes out there and gets them to tell them, you know, breakfast is ready. And they're talking and moving forward. Because, you know, that that's basically the only thing I want to touch on about, about that whole part. I thought that was like, yeah, okay. That's how real adults act. Okay. Um, moving forward, you know, it's brought up um, Kim Malaysia and Jennifer hash things out and you know Jennifer brings up I don't know you know I've never had someone throw a table at me before so of course the ladies uh, Jackie and Shawnee play peacemaker and speak to Malaysia about them or was it Evelyn too about them uh, talking to her and trying to work out some type of understanding where they can coexist for the show sake I'm assuming because I don't see how you guys are going to be friends outside of the show but anyway so they you know Malaysia's more like mm, I don't know about all that because I don't feel like I did anything wrong but okay I'll own up I'm woman enough to own up to my part of the wrong the table yeah that was that was too much so I can own up to that what I did there so, the whole thing about these ladies that I'm finding weird is they bicker and argue over things that, you know, that would anyone would argue over, you know, you're accusing my friend of having sex with my ex-husband, that's, that's some serious allegations and you putting it out there and spreading it throughout the group. That's definitely something that everyone would discuss. So I thought that was like, okay, yeah, people people want to talk about that. What I also thought was interesting was that Shawnee's okay with everything now. Like, oh, okay, I'm I'm cool with Jennifer because she admitted to all her faults. So, you know, is is that how real women act? Like, ladies, is that how we behave? I would love for someone to comment below. Is that the type of reaction that you really have? Because I, I'm, I'm finding it hard to believe that a 20-year friendship is just, you just throw that away by talking about someone's child is out here doing things to come up with money. That's not sounding so appealing. And you spreading this to the other ladies. Because, okay, we had a falling out, so now you just you just talking about people child like that. 
So, OG goes, you know, the ladies, they, they change scenes and the ladies are having lunch. And OG brings up how Malaysia kind of confronted her at the uh, engagement party. CC and Byron's engagement party. And how she felt like that was like a, she called it a drive-by. What's really getting on my nerve is that everyone keeps blaming Cece. Like, Cece manipulated the whole situation. She did everything. And all these ladies are grown. Everyone spoke up. Everyone said everything. No one's accepting any type of responsibility for what their part in this whole situation is. Kristen started the whole thing with OG. You, you start talking about her man. You said that he was gay or something, something like that. Like you thought that was okay to say something about her man. That was that. That's like something private you don't go around saying. And all the ladies are talking to her like she's a little girl. Like, no, we told you. We like they're trying to chastise her. And I like it how later on in the evening or the day, or whatever it was, like how. Uh, Phoebe says she wants to show them something and uh, show them a, a clip or something and how of course Jennifer because you know the heat's off of her now has to pull OG aside it's like no you need to go check out this Instagram where Phoebe has made a rap song about you talking about the fake Louis Vuitton shirt now in my personal opinion the Louis Vuitton shirt looked nice I don't think that OG knew it was fake. I don't because I don't think she would just put that out there like I'm wearing fake stuff or or even that it was vintage like you wouldn't even say anything about it. But these women are so messy. Like you went that far as to even go and talk to an essay about is this real or not. So that's the level of pettiness and immaturity they display. And of course, Evelyn, you know, she did show out, you know, her usual Evelyn self again. You know, she's she's trying to chastise OG as, as usual. You know, and I'm like, how are you, out of all people, trying to tell someone what they should say and what they should not say? Because you're the same one that was running across countertops. Um, yeah. You've done a lot. You're throwing drinks on people. You got into it with Dominique. Dominique? And yeah, and now you're trying to tell OG that she shouldn't say anything, but it's okay for Phoebe to say something about OG and put it on her Instagram. And now that's karma. Hmm. So what is Evelyn's karma going to be? Because Evelyn's done a lot of dirt to a lot of people. She said a lot of messed up things. You call it CC, what you call her, Ling Ling? And then she had to apologize. Um, it's very interesting how... All these ladies tend to forget all the dirt that they've done. And I liked how in the confessionals, OG pointed out how everyone has done things. Malaysia's throwing a table. Evelyn's throwing drinks. And because she said something, now it's a big deal. But they've done far worse. You you, you try to hit someone with a table. Like, that could be assault. So, you have done far worse. And... I have a problem with Kristen and her husband. I, I can't even think his name. Thomas. Yes, Thomas. That's his name, Thomas. How do you say you don't want to go to your father's wedding? Why are these adults acting like children? Like, you're so petty over he don't spend enough time with the grandchild. Why not take the grandchild over there? Why not say, hey, dad, you know, I, I feel like, why, why hasn't anyone talked to each other face to face? Like, y'all act like y'all don't know each other. Like, I, this issue could have been easily resolved. Instead, you know, y'all rather use it for a storyline and beat it into the ground instead of trying to actually fix the problem. The problem is very easy to resolve. If you feel your feelings were hurt or something, you could have easily talked to Byron and squashed all of it. 
Instead, you want to go talk to this one, that one. You want to talk to Cece. What is Cece going to do? Cece's not going to do anything. She cannot do anything. She cannot make Byron do anything. She can talk to him. And I think that's the weirdest thing about the whole situation is like, okay, you don't want to go. And everybody's like, Kristen did this and Kristen did that. And, and, and Kristen just done a whole lot in this situation. And her and Kristen was fine as long as she was wearing her clothes and shoes and stuff. It was good. But now all of a sudden, now it's time to get married and stuff. Now it's an issue. So you have to excuse me. I've, I've been um, a little under the weather. So um, I don't get it. It's like y'all really dragging on something that's so petty of you feel like this person didn't spend enough time. Okay, make it happen then. Resolve the problem. Spend more time. The, the, it, the problem's over. And to not go to the engagement party was disrespectful to your father. So you're basically saying, we don't, we're not going to accept who you are with. And we're not going to accept this person in your life. And that's not going to help the situation. That's going to make it worse. So, I'm looking forward to uh, next week's show. But I want to go back to this whole thing about OG confronting Phoebe and how she just backpedals and like, oh no, I didn't make the, that post wasn't about you. But if you feel that way, but you already told everybody it was about you. You are so big and bad, but when it was time to uh, put up, you, you couldn't put up. You just was like... <sighs> Nah. OG called her out. Like, yeah. I'm. You, you want to do something about it? Because this is. We don't play this over here. You don't go on social media doing this type of stuff unless you want to do something about it. And everybody's like, oh, no, no, no. But what I want to see next week is is how. How, how more fake they're going to get. Because on the, the little clip they showed you, Jackie was all in Malaysia's face. And it's like, Jackie, you're old enough to be Malaysia's mother. Really? Hmm. The true Jackie's coming out. We all know you've been harassing them little young chicks for the longest. I'm not saying Malaysia's young. But you're old enough to be her mama. Because you're older than me. And I'm in my 40s. So you're older than me. So, yeah. I think it's ridiculous that the older these women seem to get, the more childish their behavior is. They're still acting like they're little teenagers. Like, you can't sit down and have an adult conversation. Why are you even doing some of the things you're doing? So, I feel like the ladies still do have a lot of colorism going on. If OG was around my skin tone or lighter, they would have had a problem with what she's saying they're doing. I think that because she is a darker skin tone, that they have a problem with it. Because you don't have a problem with what Phoebe did. OG has not done anything to insult Phoebe. She asked her a simple question, and that was it. She asked her, did she have a gag order? She was like, no. And that was the end of it. So that was no reason for you to publicly insult someone or, or make a rap song or this song about them. So you're doing too much. That's my take. And I also heard a little rumor that Tammy Roman has unfollowed Shawnee O'Neal on Instagram. I'm going to have to check into that and um, give you another video if that is true. I'm going to end this one and to the next one. Peace.